assalamu alaikum my dear students i hope all of you are fine and having good health so our topic is related to the boys law that we are going to discuss today it is related to the boys law now how it is related to the boys law because in this uh, lecture we are going to discuss the some problems that are related to the boys law that how we can find the volume and how we can find the pressure so we will be able to find this so before the start of the calculations you must know that what is the mathematical form that has been proposed by the boys law the mathematical form that has been given by the boys law or the formula we have it is the v is inversely proportional to the pressure and by removing this proportionality constant we gain v is equal to k over p and at the end the relationship was v into p is equal to k so we need to find that k is equal to v into p where the product of volume and pressure is a constant value uh, on the other hand we also find if we have more than two gases then the pressure p1 will be the initial pressure and the volume v1 will be the initial volume of the gas and the pressure p2 will be the final pressure and the volume v2 will be the final volume of the gas now if we know the initial pressure initial volume and the final volume of the gas then we will be able to find the other unknown value likewise the pressure so let's start the first example we have statement is like a 530 dm cube sample of hydrogen gas was collected in a container at 800 mm mercury so here we have the given data this is the volume of the gas v1 v1 we have 530 dm cube decimeter cube collected in a container at 800 mm mercury it's been this is the pressure p1 we have it's 800 mm of mercury and the room temperature room temperature means the temperature will be 25 degree celsius now what volume will the gas occupy it's mean we need to find the volume that is the final volume as v2 this is we are going to be fine at 400 mm of mercury it's mean now the pressure p2 we have it is 400 mm of mercury so here we need to find the final volume of the gas first we have to look that the first volume is 530 cm and the pressure was 800 now the pressure is decreases from 800 to 400 now what will be happen to the volume so we have to prove the relationship that by increasing the pressure the volume will be decreases or if we are going to decrease the pressure then the volume will be increases so for this we need to write the formula over there so the formula we have p1 v1 is equal to p2 into v2 so here we are going to find the volume v2 so by we will rearrange this formula by rearranging we gain v2 is equal to p1 v1 divided by p2 so now we will put the values in this so volume v2 we need to find here the pressure p1 we have 800 millimeter of mercury don't forget to write the unit okay next multiplying with the volume v1 we have it is 530 dm cube and divided by the pressure p2 is 400 millimeter of mercury so by solving this we gain the answer is 10 60 dm cube that is volume v2 so here you can see that 
when the pressure was 800 the volume was 530 now by in decreasing the pressure the volume is increases so this is a simple relationship about pressure and volume next let's have a look on the other example where the example number two calculate the initial volume so you need to carefully read the statement before solving any question so here we need to find the initial volume initial volume mean we need to find the v1 of a gas at 1.20 atm it means the pressure p1 we have it is 1.20 atmospheric pressure if the volume is changes to 70.4 centimeters mean the final volume of the gas is 70.4 centimeter cube and the final pressure is 3 atm so the pressure p2 we have it is 3 atm and the other thing is constant where the temperature is a constant value next first of all we need to write its formula so the formula we have it is p1 v1 is equal to p2 into v2 where p1 is the initial pressure v1 is the initial volume p2 is the final pressure and v2 is the final volume so here we are going to find the volume v1 so by rearranging this formula we gain v1 is equal to p2 v2 and the pressure is going to be down so here we gain p1 so this is a simple formula now we need to just put the values in it here we have v1 is equal to pressure p2 we have 3 atm then the volume v2 we have it is 70.4 centimeter cube divided by pressure p1 here the pressure p1 we have 1.20 atm now by cancelling this or by solving this we gain the result and the answer or the initial volume was 176 centimeter cube so here we can see that when the pressure is 1.20 centimeter cube the volume is 176 and when we increase the pressure 3 atm then the volume is decreases from 176 to 70.40 centimeter cube so the relationship that was proposed by Boyle's law that by increasing the pressure the volume of the gas will be decreases and vice versa so i hope you guys understand that how we can calculate the initial volume or the final volume or the pressure of the gas by using the boys law relationship about pressure and volume so this is all about today's lecture and in the next topic we will discuss the charge law that is the second law about the gases so for that time have a good day and Allah Hafiz.